Do you think there are too many people in Japan? Well, after watching this video, you definitely will. Because we are talking about Hatsumoda, aka the Japanese tradition of starting off the year at a shrine with a prayer. Yeah, it's actually super important in Japanese culture to start the year off right. And as such, Japanese people tend to go to the big shrines of their cities and swarm them to do their one perfect first prayer of the year. And it's literally packed so full that it takes hours to do that. Happy New Year, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to another compilation of fun facts. Yeah, um, I'm Nico, by the way, aka the Red Valley, and this channel, I, I mean this video, is all about fun facts that are about Japan and no dull facts, only fun ones. I mean, you can say weird stuff like this piece of paper is white. That's a fact, but not necessarily fun one. So fun facts today will include. Uh, the New Year celebrations in Japan because those are actually really important and bring a ton of traditions with them Then there is... wait, what was it again? Yeah, the kimono industry and the coming of age day Yeah, there's there's gonna be a couple of those thrown in there and let's get on going with fun facts. Yeah, yeah Yeah my favorite Japanese New Year tradition was the making of mochi rice cakes. Yeah. So basically a group of students organized an event where we got to hammer that mochi rice cake at our university dorm, which was super awesome. But we also got to eat the mochi rice cake afterwards, which is so awesome. But there's actually lots of culture surrounding the that mochi making. A boy in Japan is considered to be a man the first time he gets to swing the hammer. And of course in Japan, I am now considered to be a man. Yeah! Japan does not equal Japan. Hear me out. Japan is a huge country with over 125 million inhabitants spanned across a huge area of land. Of course there are regional differences. For example, in the south people are considered to be much more open and friendly than in the north. Oftentimes people will comment something that a fact I say about Japan is not true. It's mostly just that regional differences make a fact not true in one area while true in another. And that is why. Hey, welcome to the second Monday of January, aka the day you will finally recognized as an adult. That is, if you live in Japan and just turned 20 this school year. And Japanese people typically rent kimonos on this special day that typically cost upwards of $400 a day, oh god. Because nothing says adulthood more than wearing fancy clothes and paying bills. So we already talked about Hatsumoto, the Japanese tradition where Japanese people swarm the shrines of the cities. And oh my god, that's massive. It's like a clone wars down there. Well, anyways, because there are so many people there, there is a huge kind of business in Japan with food carts. Yeah, temporary carts that just set up wherever the people are. The selection available at the shrine when people are there is epic. Damn, so much good food to try out. And honestly, it's kind of awesome how religion and culture basically creates business opportunities. And I find that fascinating. Bonankai. Many Japanese companies hold end-of-year parties or so-called Bonankais at the end of the year to celebrate it. Fun fact! The kanji for Bonankai literally means forget year party. And the idea is, of course, to drink. Just drink. Yeah. Japan inherits a lot of culture from Buddhism. As such, some Japanese people celebrate New Year in a Buddhist way. At the Buddhist temples, there is one cool tradition. It's about hammering a gong for 108 times. That number is supposed to kind of represent the worldly needs, and what they do is they hit that 108th strike exactly as the New Year begins. I once went to a yoga studio where we did our own version of that tradition by making 108 sun salutations. And of course, I was completely and utterly smacked afterwards. <laughs> Why kimonos cost at least $200 to rent? I wish I was joking. Kimonos are typically really, really expensive. A good kimono can cost you anything from $2,000 to $20,000. Oh, and then you also have to consider that kimonos are really, really difficult to put on. Well, and typically a person has to then be paid to help you put it on and take it off again. And then, of course, if you wear it for a day, that kimono is going to have to be cleaned afterwards. And it can't just be put in a washer. No, it's a complicated piece of garment that has to be thoroughly and manually cleaned. And that is why kimonos cost at least $200 to rent. Okay, uh, so far, those fun facts have been fun. I mean, this intermission is where I just talk about nothing, basically. Um, 
because the thing is, sometimes it's just nice to see how does a person feel, how do they react, what is it like to have a person talking to you. Um, yeah, this is kind of off topic, but this is going to be the intermission of this video. Yeah, I literally said nothing, didn't I? Okay, more fun facts. Oh, Soji. Yes, that is the end of year celebration of cleaning. Yes, the idea is to clean everything and start the new year fresh. Honestly, not a bad advice. That's that's not exactly fun, but it's 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 good. Asking the important questions, I see. Well done. Um, yeah, if you need to go to the toilet while wearing a kimono, there is actually a technique in how you can roll up the kimono to make it toilet proof. Yeah. Fun fact. Another cool news tradition in Japan is making of spirits, or aka guardian angels, out of mochi rice cakes. Yeah. Um, traditionally in Japan, people used to uh, hammer that mochi rice cake and then make like these kind of spirits out of it. These are supposed to kind of bless your house, and, and the optimal way to bless your house is to create one for each room. Typically, these kind of spirits stay until the 11th of January, where these are then broken up and eaten. Nowadays, people just buy them at the store. Yay, capitalism! Why the Japanese hate winter? Okay, so one of the newest traditions in Japan is the making of the Shimenawa, a small braid that is then put onto a kind of mochi rice cake to make a mochi rice cake spirit. What I'm trying to refer to right now is that little banner. What you write on it is Geishun, or Welcome Spring. Yeah, the thing is, the Japanese welcome spring already at the end of December because they're just so fed up with winter that they already want spring to come. You know why? Have you seen the amount of snowfall Japan gets? Have you seen it? It's insane! And that is why the Japanese hate winter. The Japanese population is actively declining. Many industries in Japan are stating financial concern about the future. Like the porn industry, they're worried about not having enough male porn stars. And of course convenience stores, they're worried that they're not getting enough part-time workers working night shifts for very little money. But you know who is also worried? That is the kimono industry. Lots of young kids, when they turn 20, rent a kimono. Because less people are turning 20 each year, the kimono industry has now also stated concerns that they're not getting enough revenue. Japanese capitalism is so amazing. Japan being overpopulated is not something that is a trivial thing to talk about because yes there are a lot of people living in Japan but no they have optimized their country to be able to handle this amount of people. The Japanese population is aging so many people are getting old and not dying, so their pensions have to be paid. And the birth rate is really low though, so not many new young people are coming in. That is why the Japanese government is really trying hard to get more taxpayers into this country! Who pay the pensions! And make more babies! Yeah! Yeah! Another Japanese New Year's tradition that is done exactly the same time as Hatsumoto, where people swore the big shrines of their cities, is uh, Omamori. Yeah. So instead of Japanese New Year's resolutions, you write your kind of wishes for the year on a charm that resembles the current year of the Chinese zodiac. Buy that at the shrine, write it down, and take it with you. As the next year comes by, you take it with you again, the shrine collects it back up, and they burn. And that tradition signifies kind of the start of a new year and a new cycle. Yeah, Japanese culture. Burn things. In Japan, every single person has black hair. This does not apply to Japanese babies. Babies! Yeah, Japanese babies have typically brown hair. And that is because babies haven't developed melanin yet. That is the protein that causes pigments to go darker. And their purpose is to protect from the sun. And obviously because babies, uh, they didn't need protection from the sun. They were literally just born. They literally had protection from the mother from the sun. They didn't develop melanin. And as such, babies have much lighter and brighter skin and hair color. Yeah! Science monkey! Science! Monkey. The deadliest food in Japan is not what you expect it to be because you're expecting this the blowfish, aka the most toxic animal in their culinary kingdom, and the Japanese gobble it up like a delicacy. Well, no, those are totally safe to eat thanks to trained chefs. But the real killer here is the mochi rice cake. Around 4,000 people a year are choked to death by it, especially around New Year where they're traditionally eaten. And the Japanese government very frequently advises to cut it up into smaller pieces to enjoy this highly deadly delicacy. Beware of the mochi. Ah, ah, ah. 
And this was it! Yet another fun fact compilation complete! I hope you had a good time on this roller coaster of facts that are fun. And subscribe, literally subscribe if you haven't yet, press the notification bell if you haven't yet. Subscribe to me if you haven't yet, subscribe to my Patreon that doesn't exist if you haven't yet. Um, this is an impossible task, but I'm sure you'll find a way. Anyways, I thank you really much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, see ya. I'm back to playing Cyberpunk now. Way.